Chris, thank you. The Breeders' Cup returns to Keeneland this Friday and Saturday, but festivities have already begun in downtown Lexington. There will be activities each day away from the track, including nightly concerts in Tandy Park, which tonight unveiled a light show. That's where we find our Georgia MacArthur. Hundreds of people came out tonight to celebrate the Breeders' Cup Festival. The light show was absolutely phenomenal, highlighting a horse race tradition here in Lexington. The Breeders' Cup just days away. I have uh, paintings of the sun, of horses, uh, of Blackbird. I learned how to play Blackbird, the song, on, on, on the guitar. Horses decorating the city of Lexington and lighting up downtown to highlight this year's Breeders' Cup. It's uh, a woodsy scene and with a path in it, and uh, uh, people seem to like these, and I like doing them, and it's also some of the origins of modern art. art. Longtime artist Chris Eustace looks forward to events like this to showcase local talent. It's fun, you know, it's good, and, uh, and people like it. Uh, people have been painting horses for literally tens of thousands of years, and people love horses. Each night this week will feature live music, a light show projected on the old courthouse, and artists showing timeless traditions of Lexington's rich racing history. Breeder Cup brings all kinds of people from around the world to Lexington, and we get to show our artwork as part of this uh, program downtown. The last day of the Breeders' Cup Festival is Saturday, November 5th. In Lexington, George MacArthur, Fox 56 News.